Here we are yet again in Crusader Kings 3, and we're going to be starting a new campaign. And um, we're going to be playing the last Carlin, who should be somewhere in France, I think Vermondois. We shall take a look. Starting in 1066, the Rags to Riches start date. Oh, and my game's frozen. There we go. <laughs> Vermondois, which is here. Ah, I'm right, Herbert Carling, who, from what I remember, is a semi-random generated character, so his name's always the same, he's always a Carling, but his traits are always slightly different, so... I might be wrong there, though, that might just be a CK2 thing. So, he's lustful, he's arrogant, he's temperate, temperate and he's cynical, so, an all-round great guy. 34 years old, and he has a son. He was a rational gambler at the age of six, so that's good to know. Game rules we're not going to mess about with too much. I've got a couple of mods on, nothing crazy, just a few. Um, just ease of access mods is the best way. Oh, and via the events mods, because I feel like this game gets a little bit stale after a while. But we shall, nevertheless, jump in. So, going to have to bear me with me here with this, because this is probably going to go awfully. First of all, this, this is not who we want to play. We need to, we need to get this guy dressed up nicely. Last Carling. What outfit befits the last Carling? Hmm. Maybe... Ah, uh, I think when I was going down here, the only thing that's calling to me is the nightgown. The nightgown, let's give him a a big crown to symbolise his stature, even though he is a count currently. We'll give him, we don't want an afro, we don't want to be, very long wild hair and the longest wizard's beard we can fucking find. Uh, I'm sure we can get one bigger than that. No? <laughs> that is perfect. He is prepared to go. Um, what kind of guy was he? Uh, he was a flirtatious, lustful fellow, wasn't he? Let's get him being flirty. Perfect. Okay, so this is our guy, Count Herbert. Oh, we're also bisexual, so that's lovely to know. We also have a daughter. That's good. That's good for alliances. So, I think our first port of call is going to be... Getting the Duchy of Valois. I think that's probably the best thing we can do, which is quite a big duchy. Has that got Paris in? Is that Paris? Is that de France Paris? It's on the same river. Yeah, it's Paris. So we'll be we'll be setting that as a capital, I imagine. I imagine it's the best developed place around here. Can, is there a development map mode? New. No, that's not good. Okay, so what are we? We're a learning character. Okay. What's our air? Is he good at? Diplomacy, but I'm going to switch him to Marshall. Um, have we got anyone who can educate him, or should we do it ourselves? We'll do it ourselves, because then we can take the stress, even though we're not very well. Oh my god, what awful. That doesn't matter. So we're going to go learning, what we've gone down, theologian. Um... I think, yeah, we'll carry on going down Theologian. It's not the greatest tree, but we're almost there. We might as well finish it. And then we'll go to Hole of Body and try and get a nice, long, livid character. So, have we got... How's our military looking? We've got 5 out of 5 knights, 363 levies. That's not brilliant, but it's not awful. Uh, my brother and knight can get married. So, we probably want to marry for alliances straight off. Have we got any wars we can declare? We have not, but we can start fabricating some claims. Okay, so first thing we want, who's got the weakest army? 440, 401. You've got quite, oh right, because you're a bishop. I don't want to mess with the bishops just yet. So I'll go straight for Valois. It's independent from the main duchy. He's a lone fella. He might have more troops than us, but we can get some allies and hopefully take his province. And here we are back, five seconds literally, because we've got an event that I've never seen before. So, 
A stranger is brought before me. She has been waiting outside the castle gates for a week, my liege, my guard informs me. The woman bows deeply. My name is Kanana. Oh, fucking, I don't I need to learn how to speak, like, anything that isn't English. Your Highness, I have travelled far and wide and have seen many things, but my family and I are weary of the road. If you allow us to stay, I will happily share my knowledge of the world with you and be your loyal servant. Let's see what she's like. So, she's 9 marshals, 7 diplomacy, 10 stewardship, 8 intrigue, and 11 learning. It's not great. What's her husband like? Uh, also awful. Also, he likes to see sadistic, so that's not, that's not good. You know what? I don't think I'm interested in any of these people. But we could... What's our council actually looking like? Because I don't actually know. Poor learning. Let me click her again. Poor learning... She's got more marshal, he's got the same marshal. She's got less. Yeah, all around just just worse. Yeah, we don't need her. No room for the likes of you. Uh, here we are with another event. Almost too real. While visiting a local nobleman, nobleman, he shows us one of his prized possessions. A painting he acquired some time ago that depicts a beautiful woman. Now, paintings about people are nothing out of the ordinary, but this painting in particular is famous because the artist managed to do an extremely realistic depiction of a person. So real that it almost feels as if the painting looks as if it is real. What? So real that it almost feels as if that the painting, if that the painting, looks as if it is real. That is such an awful sentence. Live oh, wait, I didn't finish the sentence. Okay. Um, living, breathing lady who at any moment will jump out of the frame and interact with us. A most impressive work of art, or... Oh, I'm thinking what could be done with such a beauty. Oh, boy. So, to start the campaign, we're going to be jacking it to a painting. Nice. Okay, so, he's just come through with a claim. I have prowled through documents both ancient and of less certain provenance. And he's got me the claim. How much is that going to set us back? Oof. 108 gold. So, that's going to put us 18 gold in debt. But we should be all right with that. Um, it might be worth trying to find a better steward, though. So, oh, I don't care about my liege being at war. Um, oh, this is my son. So what do we want to give him? Just, cynical, or temperate. So what's temperate give him? Stewardship plus two, small boost to health. And what does just give him? Um, let me just find a character with just quickly. Anyone got just in my court? No. Oh. Well, since I can't find just, I'm going to let him have temperate. Temperate's a good trait. Yeah. Give him temperate. Okay. Is there anyone better for a steward? No. What about... I can't switch my bishop, can I? My wife is pregnant. Nice. Uh, I've got a new perk. And I've got a daughter. That all happened so fast. Um, What shall we call... So... We need to come up with a nice naming scheme for our characters. I'm open to suggestions, but what are we going to go for first? Carlings. French wee wee. What are the, car what are the French famous for? That there's lots of. Losing wars? No. There's not enough wars that they've lost. Um, cheese? No. That's been done. Um... I do not know what the French are famous for. One second. Okay, so on some reflection, I have gone for French foods. So, first we've got croissant carling. So, that is cool. Radiant. Nice. Um, what are we doing? So, we need to keep an eye on Valois, because the minute they... Why do they have more troops than us? Where did he get that province from? Oh no, this is going poorly. Right, let's upgrade, up, let's upgrade something. Um, we've got no money. Okay, that's not good. How about the Pope? Is he willing to give us any money? Pope? Ask for gold? No, so I don't have enough piety. Annoying. Okay. Um, we will figure something out. In the meantime... Oh, alliances! We have figured something out. So, our first daughter that we didn't get to name, we will find a spouse. 
and we will find our spouse that's going to give us many, many troops. Um, somewhere hopefully close. So Wales, not great. Barcelona, not brilliant. Bit, um, Wales still. Bono, is that in Germany? Dublin. Okay, tell you what. We're just going to go for the most troops we can muster here. Eight, four. Okay, so we're going to go for Barcelona. Send proposal. And our second daughter, Croissant, we will also find her a lucky man to marry. Uh, where are our alliances? We've already got that turned on. Nice. How many the troops do these guys have? Is that more than Wales? Not quite, but they're also not at war, so we'll go for these guys too. Perfect. So that's two alliances. And that should, um, hopefully, give us enough troops to kill this fella. Yeah, it does. So can we call our allies in straight from here? Is that something we can do? Um, he's got two allies too, but they've got... Got nothing. Okay, sweet. So we're going to declare that war. We're going to keep it paused. We're going to pull in Mr. Barcelona over here. Right, the problem is, are they going to get here before I get my cheeks clapped? We will see. Call to war. Okay, we're going to accept. We're going to raid their army. And what we might end up doing is just running. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so they're both coming now. Let's, let's get the speed turned down a little bit. That's 500 men. Where are our allies coming from? That's that's good, from over there. So I might run across the Holy Roman Empire to meet up, or down to Barcelona. Yeah, I'll tell you what, we're going to start running straight toward Barcelona like the cowards we are. So let's start moving. Oh, are they going to catch us? I do not want to be caught here. Oh, they are going to catch us. That's a pain. Is there any way we can escape? No. Okay, where are our troops? <laughs> Oh no, I may have bitten off more than I can chew. Are they getting in the boats? What the shit? What are they doing? Oh my goodness. Where's Bruno? They're coming. Okay, tell you what, not the end of the world. We're gonna... We're gonna stand and fight. You know, like the true heroes we are. How many men do we have? 17, can I recruit this fella? Absolutely. You, take over. Command. Defending a river crossing. Better army commander. Just less soldiers. So let's see how this goes. Probably going to lose. But it's, hopefully we don't lose badly. Oh shit, here comes the rest of his army. Ah, this isn't going to go well. Okay, so that was a decisive loss. That is not a great start to the campaign. So what we're going to do is we are going to flee with our lives. Um, what is it? Yeah, we're only minus two, that is fine. We can't lose both provinces though, that would be a problem. Where have my troops just gone? Troops? Oh, they're all over in Normandy. Sweet. Okay, let's just stand over here and reinforce for a little bit. Head across this bridge. There's our troops coming from over there. How long is this siege gonna take? Oh, no, this has gone really poorly. Really, really poorly. I'll tell you what, if we go in their capital... Hmm. Let's try to do some magic, that sounds cool. If we sit in their capital, hopefully we can distract them. <laughs> oh, I can gain the trait Wise Man. That seems good. What does that do for us? Learning plus one. Cool. Is this going to be 100%? Um, am I about to bang some of... I'm about to bang the Queen of France. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> so, she can stay and become my lover. Mm. Let's see. She's my lover. Oh, God. So, I just lost that war. That... Okay, so, if we're looking at this objectively, I lost a war and a lot of gold, 
but I also got to bang the Queen of France. So, I'd say we're drawing even right now. Okay, so that was, that was a poor decision. I went in way too early. I don't know what I was expecting to happen. I need to build up a bit more. We've got low county control as well now, which is a pain in the arse, but we will sort it with our military. So, is this my heir? I do not want him to get deceitful. I don't want humble or honest. So, what does deceitful do for me? No, because I've already gone into the... He's coming out alright. So, we'll go humble. Humble's a good trait. Okay. So, I wasted a little bit of time doing that, but we can build back up. Um, we're not going to join the Cathars. And the King of France has just won his war. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna... Okay, so now the Queen of France is my soulmate. This is going quite crazy. So, this, this woman is, is very interested in this shaggy man. So, what's going on here? It was an ordinary Monday meeting with my council. Blah de blah de blah. Um, pretend to look like try and focus. Even the discussion, even is, if it's boring. Yeah, come on, we're a good king, good king, good count. Uh, we're a very good Christian man, apart from the whole banging the king's uh, wife. Oh god, imagine if she gets pregnant with our child, and then what if we take friends that way, just through cuckolding? Now that sounds like the ideal playthrough. Uh, my wife's pregnant. Very cool. We're still in debt. Not so cool. Do we do the... Ooh. What's going on here? Oh, I just clicked it off because I'm an idiot. So this guy wants me to go into a holy war. Yeah, sure. We're not going to get involved, but... We're definitely going to pretend we're involved. And that's half of what, you know, being allies with someone is. So what does he want us to do exactly? Oh, that's a lot of men, and we can't quite afford that, so we're just going to sit here. And we've got a new son, so we've had a son. What's next? Baguette. How do you spell baguette? B-A-G-U-E-T-T-E. -E. Baguette, ba baguette Carling. very nice. And we will educate him. He's already got an actual inclination towards stewardship. Okay, we've got theologians. We can start specking into uh, medicine and try and live for a million years. Yeah, let's go for the prestige. And we are now officially out of debt. Nice. Okay. We are back at square one. Maybe we can make friends with a king and they'll just grant us a duchy. You know what? I'm down for trying that. Can I befriend rather than... Um... No, okay. We'll just sway him then. Go for the sway. Go for a run. Spend the afternoon journaling or take the entire day off. So what does journaler do for us? Learning plus one. Stress loss minus 20. Or athletic, which does what exactly? Oh my goodness. Oh, well, I'm clicking that one because it's stressing me out. Oh, yes, health small boost. And stress. That, oh, that was a better trait. Good. Very cool. She's pregnant. I wonder if it's my child she's pregnant with. The timing? I don't know if it lines up because, honestly, I'm blitzing through Daisy. I ain't even got a clue what's going on. Hmm. There's a Peasant Rebellion, that's cool. And, um, yeah. Okay, so here's our first attempt of swaying King Philip. Philip, should I say. I can include a compliment in my next missive to his court. I will be sure to mention his relentless courage, loyalty and sense of honour, unmatched people skills, or I will keep it short and professional. What's he good at? Intrigue and martial, relentless courage seems like a shout then. Callous, lustful, skilled at this one. Yeah, relentless courage. Seems like the right option there. 
There we go, look at this. We're making friends with this man. Banging his wife, we're going to be his best friend. It's all looking up for... Uh, what even is my name? Herbert? Herbert Carling. Oh, and my son is of age now, and he's become a skilled tactician, which is actually way better than I thought he was going to come out. 12 Marshall. Not brilliant, but not bad at all. He's quite good. I'm happy for him. So let's find him a spouse. Someone who don't care about alliances on this one. What I care about is some good inheritable traits. So we can start breeding those into the dynasty. So what have we got? Let's go within five years. Maximum age. Age difference. Five years. Oh, okay. That's not many. Ten years. <clears throat> She's got Herculean. That's very good. We could start straight with the strength. Have we got any geniuses? Intelligence, good. 26. It's a bit old for him, though. It's 10 years older. I think Beatrix. Honest, compassionate, brave. She's good. She's really good. She'll be a good diplomat as well in court. I'm sold. We're going to lose a little bit of prestige, but what does that matter when we've got some of that nice, nice blood? I Oh, I don't promote eugenics, by the way. Just FYI. So, we lost the Allies War, but I didn't particularly care about that. He didn't help me win my war because he started to get on a boat for some reason. But the most important thing is we can beg the Pope for gold now. And that's all we need to do right now. We need some gold. Pope will give it us. We'll invest it in troops. And then we will develop enough troops to beat this guy who beat us last time. We don't talk about that. Levies plus 5, levies plus 100. Perfect. Um, I, I know that mana arms are better than levies, but in this circumstance where we're both very, very weak and don't have a lot of income, it's... we've got another one of these events, Far From Home. 20 Intrigue. I'm already sold. Embrace God. You, my guy. Uh, being put straight on the council. How what, how do you feel about me? Oh, that's not a great opinion. But, 20 opinion. 20 opinion. I'm firing my wife. I don't care about my wife. I'm cheating on her anyway. So, this guy. Yeah, perfect. Have we got a better marshal? Because he is absolute. Yes, we do. Absolutely. I think it's that guy's wife. That's a man. Well. Oops. No better queen, no better... We have got better diplomats. Chancellor, spymaster... Oh, because he's already spymaster. Uh, yeah, she's on chivalry. We'll just do that. Get the extra one on everything. Okay, looks good to me. We also got some gold from a head of faith and invested it straight into a barracks. I don't know if I recorded that or not, but we will see. So we've got uh, another event in which we could sway the good king, but also we could sway him and say he's he's cool, you know, but of course I know him. He's me. A game of dice. I don't think I've ever seen this event. Ah, oh, there's ours in all of our lovely glory. <laughs> in the market, I see a crowd gathered around a man hosting a dice game. My lord, Count Herbert. An honour to see you here, he grins. Care to join us for a game or two of dice? Surely a bet of a few coins won't be a problem for you. Let me watch first, I say. Afterwards, I observe various gamblers trying to win money, but to no avail. It seems the host has a lot of good fortune and is blessed by the gods, or so he claims, as the dice usually rolls in his favour. I'd rather not bother right now for ten piety. Um, we've got a... 20% chance of winning some money. I'll try my luck and gamble a lot. Yeah, no, I'm, we're not going to try that. We need all our money because we need to go to war, war with Bawa, who I've noticed is lacking on troops now. And our daughter has grown up, and she's an elusive shadow. Oh, that's very good. 14 intrigue. Is that better than the other guy? It is not. He's on 20. He's crazy good. She's good, though. And I'm um, sending her off to have a marriage. Very cool. Mm -hmm. 
we've run into a little bit of a problem. So my secret has been exposed. My liege King Philippe has revealed that I'm seeing Queen Oredi in secret with the truth spreading like wildfire. Our passion may not have been as hidden as we would like to believe. This is bad because I'm fairly confident this give the, gives the king leave to just chop off our head if he wants. But on the plus side, if he does do that, um, I get to play as my son, who is a better character. So, you know, silver linings. Oh, and she's pregnant. And the realm knows that she's pregnant with my child. And she's in prison. Am I in prison? I'm not in prison. Oh, he's imprisoned his wife, my soulmate. That's not cool. Can I can I s stop him doing that? No. Okay, this guy's gonna take our head. <laughs> but in the meantime, why don't we? We could go celibate, but we're lustful, and I think that stresses out. We'll go for wash your hands. You know, wear a mask, wash your hands. Um. Oh God, our piety's gone down to nineteen. Ah, but on the plus side, we should be able to get a new building in our castle. An outpost. How much for... That's good. Plus tax. 150. Or 100 for... that will take three years. We'll go for military camps and get some more levies. Seems like a shout. And also wait for the inevitable murder. Oh, she's had a child. So, this is my daughter to the Queen of France, who is a bastard right now. Does a bastard deserve a name? I believe so. Bomarge Carling. I don't think that's how you spell it, but you know what? And we will also legitimise her. Why not? Can, why is she in prison? <laughs> she's born in prison, so she's being kept in prison. Oh, no, that means the king has a hostage against me. Hmm... So we could go for the piety, which we... Or we can make friends with this guy, who's our spy master, so he doesn't kill us dead. Seems good. Seems good. I'll see if I can make friends with the king. Oh, this isn't going to go well. 58, 75. I'll sort that out. We'll see if we can help out here. And the chest of gold, 58%. You win some, you lose some, come on. And we've done it. I've done all in my power to help the king. And he's got 20 opinion of me, yes. And that leaves us where? We're rivals, minus 32. Oh, this has not gone well. This has been a terrible start. Oh, we're about to go into massive debt. Okay, we'll have to tank it. We'll be fine. Um, fabricate a claim. My brother and knight wants to be married. She's a genius. Yeah, marry her. Why not? And you marry... No. Yeah, she marry her. I don't really care who they marry. Just want them out of my way. I need more callings in the world in case we all die. We all know that nothing could go wrong with... Loads and loads of carlins in the world. There are my tents done, which has taken my levies up to six. Maximum of 648, which is going to leave me above this guy. But he's got pikemen and bowmen. So we need to save for a little bit of money. And go for... Some... Let's have a look. Pikemen and bowmen. What do we want to go for to counter that? I... Say we go for some armoured footmen and some bowmen. See how that does. Let me just have a look. 22, 24 and some... Um, for, yeah, we'll go for armoured footmen. Because I'm pretty sure this is all planes. How do I see that? I honestly don't remember. Planes. Yeah, it looks like planes. So I assume it's all planes. Yeah, so his pikemen are just worse than footmen in every way since we're not on hills. Oh, bastard. This is exactly what we didn't want to happen. So we're under arrest for crimes against the crown. We're going to accept that because we can't do anything to, about it. 
what can we do in prison? We can escape from prison. I don't think there's any need to do that. We can pay a ransom in the form of a weak hook. Oh wait, that's the ransom of my daughter. Yeah, he can have a he can have a hook on me because he's gonna chop my head off in a minute. We're in debt. Okay. So how's my son looking? Pretty decent. Yeah, I'm prepared to have my head chopped off. Mr. King. How's my soulmate doing? Is she in prison too? Yeah. Hey, we might be in prison together. We can probably get a bit touchy freely through the bars. Oh, and he's tormenting me. Oh, you should have seen the mummers at the festival. What a show. Oh, that isn't much of torture, I'm going to be honest. Hey, we look like we fit right in and we look like we've been in prison for years. We've only been here two weeks. Oh, just, just kill me. Oh, you... Oh, I'm still in prison. And he's killed his wife. He's killed my soulmate. She actually... Oh, what God, what's he going to do to me? This isn't going to go well for me, is it? Can you just take my head and be done with it? Oh my goodness. What are you going to do? We're gaining... So we're having a mental break. I think we're going to roleplay this a little bit. So, so look at it this way. We've, we fell in love with a, a woman. She became our soulmate. He killed her and um, imprisoned me. So I think it makes sense that we lose a trait lustful and go for vengeful and try and get revenge against King Philip by eventually somewhere down the line taking his, taking his kingdom. Won't be done with this character, I imagine, though, because I don't think he's much longer on this mortal coil. So what does Vengeful actually do for you, though? Let's have a little look. Diplomacy minus two, intrigue, prowess, dread gain, and it's sinful. Let's see. No longer overwhelmed by stress, that's nice. And there we go, he's about to murder me. <clears throat> I was woken in the early hours of the morning by two unfamiliar guards. Being led outside, I had no illusions about what was to happen. As I kneel for King Philip's headman, headsman, I experience a moment of serene and perfect clarity. And in that moment, our character Herbert, he sees the fall of the, of the carpets. He sees them thrown into the English Channel. And he sees the Carolingian Empire spanning Europe once again. But... Herbert knows that it's not him and it's not today.